apologize, it's Colleen here from Walking Resonant Path. I just wanted to update you on my eating and meditations on days 8 to 13. So on day 8 for lunch, I had a homemade bread open chicken sandwich. Uh, I just made my bread, as I said last week, from the Fuss Free Flavors website. So just go over there, but I just changed it to all organic and to using raw almond milk, um, organic almond milk. Um, also then I had the free range on top of it, I had the free range lemon and pepper chicken and the organic salad greens. And so that's what I had for lunch on that day with the macro dairy free bio cheese as well. For dinner that day, I had the best find. I went to Coles and got these Nature's Kitchen brand mushroom and lentil pies. And honestly, they tasted great. They are my best find so far out of doing this organic eating because they were organic nature's brand mushroom and lentil pies. They were tasted delicious and it was just like you were eating a normal pie. It was great. That's what I had for dinner that night. Then on day nine, I went to the farmer's market that was just near me um, that I could walk to and I got some goodies. So from there, for lunch on day nine, I had some herb and garlic fresh Turkish bread. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this, after eating this for lunch, this was the worst pain I have felt in a long time. Really, really bad, irritable bowel syndrome, pain, cramping, and just agony. But I will say the garlic on this bread was just overpowering. Usually I'm okay with the little bits of garlic, but this was really overpowering garlic, or maybe they'd used another herb as well that I'm not used to using and my stomach doesn't agree with. So I'm not sure what was going on that day, but that's what happened. Uh, for dinner that day, because I'd been in so much pain with my lunch, I just had another mushroom and lentil pie, plus they taste great, and I knew my stomach wasn't gonna hurt and it didn't hurt after that. Uh, for a snack, I had some sourdough bread I brought from the farmer's market with some apricot jam that I brought from the farmer's market delicious no stomach pain so uh, day 10 for lunch I had uh, my sourdough bread from the farmers market I had some blueberry and garlic kibasa which is like a little salami stick thing um, had that on my bread along with some tomato basil and garlic cheese which was also from the farmers market and some organic cherry tomatoes and that was delicious and my stomach was fine after that for dinner that night we actually had um takeaway we had a takeaway from the local pizza joint so i just had a vegetarian pizza from the local pizza joint this isn't like domino's or or pizza hut or anything which generally would hurt my stomach not saying there's anything wrong with those brands but they generally do hurt my stomach i do find them a bit greasy but um, this was just a local pizza joint and the food there wasn't, didn't seem greasy and I had vegetarian pizza, which I generally have anyway, because I like vegetarian pizzas. I think they taste great and this tasted good. Had a little bit of cramping after that and a little bit of soreness, but not much. Um, day 11 for lunch, I had the same lunch as the day before with the blueberry kibasa on the sourdough bread and the cheese and stuff like that. Uh, for dinner on that day, I had spiral bolognese pasta. So I got the organic macro brand spiral pasta, the organic uh, cleavers, cleavers is a brand of organic beef mix that I bought. Also organic mushrooms, organic tomatoes, organic onions. And so I cooked all that up, mixed it together, and then I used FODMAP, um, what's the brand is called FODMAP, and it's for people with irritable bowel syndrome. A lot of times doctors will tell you if you have irritable bowel syndrome to go on a FODMAP diet. Now FODMAP stands for fermented oleosaccharides, diosaccharides, and polyols. I think it's polyols. Yep. Which um, do not absorb very well. They're sugars that don't absorb very well into your intestines and that can affect some people badly. Now I have been on a full FODMAP diet before. It helped a bit, it didn't help a bit, just like a lot of other diets I've been on. But I used the FODMAPS um, red wine tomato sauce. So that was nice. And so I had a spiral noodle bolognese, or bolognese, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. And my stomach was fine on that day, perfectly good. 
up at day 12. I actually woke up early enough for breakfast. It's a miracle. Um, and I had pancakes. It's my just my own little recipe for pancakes, which I used organic self-raising flour and organic egg and some organic almond milk and just mixed all that together to make the pancake better. And then I topped that with organic baking syrup. Yum. And it was yum. Okay, and for lunch that day, I just had my leftover spiral noodle bolognese, so that was cool. And for dinner, I had a bacon and egg roll that I just made myself. Now I used Dorsonia nitrate and added additive free bacon, um, an organic egg, and a macro linseed and pumpkin seed bun. And so I just stuck that in the bun, and my stomach was good on that day. Uh, day 13. I had a BLT, so I got my sourdough bread from the farmer's market, I toasted it, I used some organic coleslaw mix, and it was a macro brand organic coleslaw mix it was called, and I got uh, some organic tomatoes, and just stuck that all together with my leftover organic nitrate free bacon, and made my own BLT, and it was delicious. My stomach hurt a little bit, but I think that was because it was so huge and so much food. It hurt a tiny bit, but not much. And for dinner that night, I had wild caught Atlantic salmon. I had some of my leftover coleslaw. And I just fried up some organic mushrooms, tomatoes, and capsicum, or what other people might call bell peppers. And for a snack on that day, I had some natural Simon's popcorn. Simon's make, Simon's brand makes some natural popcorns, and I had the sea salt flavour. So that's what I've been eating. Now to my meditations. Um, I did a five minute wealth meditation um, by Simple Oasis. I did a morning meditation to get you full of positive energy and that was by Great Meditations YouTube channel. I did a 15 minute positivity guided meditation that was by Fleur de Loops meditation channel. I did a morning visualization to be feel great today and be full of radiant joy. And that was by Great Meditations. And I also, the final one I did was a 15 minute self mastery guided meditation. That's actually what I did this morning. And um, that was by the Fleur de Luz channel as well. Okay, well, I just wanted to update you on what I've been doing and saying my, for the most part, besides the little ones I've mentioned in there, my stomach has been feeling quite a bit better and not so much cramping and stuff. Uh, it hasn't really helped my rash yet or my painful bones or anything else, but it does seem to be helping my stomach a bit and I will take any win I can get. Well, I hope you have a joyous day. Thank you for being here and don't forget to do whatever resonates deep within your soul. Bye now.